Cross will matching based localization methods localize an agent by matching a ground level query image to geo reference site head or area imagery. Normally, those methods target global localization by learning geographically global representations. In this work, we consider at training time the availability of a localization prior obtained, for example, from other sensors such as GNSS or from temporal filtering. This way, our approach learns representations that are more discriminative inside local areas. We compare localization results acquired by different implementations of particle filtering. On the top left, we combine our cross field matching model with GPS using a particle filter. On the top middle, we combine the baseline cross field matching model with GPS using a particle filter. As a reference, we show on the top right the case without cross field matching. The black triangle shows a ground truth location. The sign cross indicates a GPS positioning. The green, red, and blue stars represent the localization results. We make use of the Oxford Robot Car dataset. The cross field matching model matches a ground level front view in query image to our collected satellite images. Next to it, we show the quantitative evaluation by comparing the localization results to RTK ground truth. As shown now, low GPS measurements often contain large errors around buildings. Temporal filtering the low GPS positioning doesn't help in such situations. Combining the GPS with cross through matching improves the localization. Small purple dots in three top-down views show the particles before resampling and the darker color, the larger the resampling weight. Our model is more discriminative inside the local area around the course location estimate from the low GPS. Consequently, our particles are less spread than the baselines. Without any MU or real dormitory information, our particle filter can track a vehicle around corners. The error plot shows the localization error in meters of the past 10 frames, the mean, median, and 95% quantile error over all past frames can be found in the bar plot. Using our model with GPS in the particle filtering, bits using the baseline with GPS or using GPS only in terms of both localization accuracy and robustness. The raw GPS positioning inevitably jumps when the signal is partially blocked or the multi-pass effect occurs. In this situation, our method can smoothly track a vehicle even when the low GPS error reaches tens of meters. Please check our paper and GitHub repository for more details. Thank you for watching this video.